Hello and welcome. In this demo, I'm going to show you that you can set up a secure wireless network in under 15 minutes using Euphoria Technologies Fusion 300 wireless controller and Fusion 50 access point. First, let me show you what's in my network. Okay, internet. I have a router here at 192.168.10.1. In my Talco lab, I have a DHCP server at 10.2, an NTP server at 10.3, a DNS server at 10.4, and a RADIUS server at 10.5. Now I'm going to put the Fusion 300, I'm going to give it a 10.6 IP address. Now out on the LAN, I'm going to set up my APs so they advertise two networks, a corporate network for my employees and a guest network. Now let's make sure we have everything. Now I've already connected my switch to my laptop and my switch to the Fusion 300. I have not connected the, the Fusion 50 yet. In fact, this will be our last step. Okay, let's start our configuration. Now by default, the Fusion 300 comes with a default IP address of 192.168.110.104. So I'll need to put my F Fusion 300 on the same network as my laptop. Now to put my Fusion 300 on the same network as my computer, I'm going to go to Control Panel, select Network Connections, right click Local Area Connection, select Properties, Select Internet Protocol TCP IP, select Properties. I'm going to give it an IP address of 192.168.110.10. Keep the default subnet mask. Click OK, click Close. Now I'm going to launch a browser so I can open Complete Mobility Express. Now, Complete Mobility Express is supported on all the major browsers. I'm going to use Mozilla Firefox. Enter the default IP address of the Fusion 300 in the address bar, 192.168.110.104. Add the default username and password of admin and default. Click Login. Now I'm going to configure my wireless network. Now to do that, I'm going to have to create two ESS, or extended server set. Now, I'm going to create two ESS, one for my corporate network and one for my guests logging in. To create an ESS, we'll go down to ESS Security, click New, I'm going to call this Corporate. Key the default settings, check WPA2, now this is just telling me that I can have a non-secure and a secure security suite. Click OK. And click Apply. Now this is telling me that I can have a, I need to have a RADIUS server for WPA2. Click OK. We'll do that in our next step. Now I'm going to cre create my guest network. Click New. Same steps, except for I'm going to call this guest. Select Open Captive Portal, click Apply. Now I need to configure user authentication so that each new user has its own password. To do that, I'm going to enable my, my RADIUS server. Now to create a RADIUS server, I'm going to go up to RADIUS, click New, select the primary as its role. Now we have our radius server at 192.168.10.5. We'll give it a secret. Click apply. Now we're going to configure our access point. Now to do that, we're going to create an access point template. Now an AP template is the fastest, most consistent way to bring APs onto your network. Now to create an AP template, I'm going to go down to Access Points, 
select the AP template tab. Notice how our two ESS show up in the SSID column. Click edit. Keep the default settings, except for I'm going to change automatically activate new APs and set that to yes. Keep the rest of the default settings. Click apply. Now I'm going to save the configuration at this time. And that's it for wireless configuration. Now I'm going to walk you some, through, through some optional steps. Now to enable our NTP client, we're going to go up to host services. Select the NTP tab. Click enable. Select apply. Click add. Now our NTP is at 192.168.1.1. Three. Click apply. Now I want to enable my DHCP server. We'll go up to DHCP server. Click edit. Click enable. Now our when you add our uh, primary domain name server, our DNS server is at 192.168.10.3. I'm going to give it a domain name of example.com. Click apply. Now I want to change the user privilege of the system administrator. I'm just going to call this David. Give it a password of no less than six characters long. Redo the password. Click apply. And finally, I'm going to change the IP address of the Fusion 300. We'll go to E0, click Modify. Now I want to put the Fusion 300 on the 10.6. Key the default subnet mask, click Apply. Now I'm going to save at this time. OK? OK. Now I'm ready to move my Fusion 300 into the network and deploy some APs. But before I do that, Let's confirm it by plugging in some APs. To plug in AP, let's use the same switch. And this is a power of the compliant switch, so all I need is one cable for both network connection and power. Power ID is lit, and 11G LED is lit. Well, let's check out my wireless network, see if our network should appear. Now let's see if our two networks appeared in our wireless network environment. Go down to wireless control networks. Click view wireless networks. I'm going to refresh my network list. Let's scroll down. And there we are. Guest and corporate. Notice how guest is an unsecured wireless network and corporate is a secured wireless network. That's it. We're done with configuration. Now, you can always go back to the web UI to set up your system messages and what have you. Um, but that's it. We're done.